First Nations TV, your news first. The tourism industry is bouncing back from a difficult couple of years due to restrictions that COVID-19 had caused across Australia and the rest of the world. Tourism industry representatives from across the NT have come together at the Alice Springs Convention Centre to celebrate and recognise the Territory's exceptional tourism products at the prestigious Brogo Awards. Now in its 35th year, the annual Northern Territory Tourism Brogo Awards acknowledges the outstanding achievements and successes of tourism businesses and organisations from all across the Territory. The tourism industry is vital to the Northern Territory. It's been a long serving industry, bringing in uh, expenditure from out of the Territory, but also providing opportunities for Territorians, and it's a great industry. The Northern Territory's got some unique opportunities. We know that many international visitors want an Indigenous cultural experience, which we can offer, and we've got some amazing natural attractions. Congratulations to everyone that's here tonight, but a big congratulations to those people that are going to proudly represent the Territory at the Australian Tourism Awards. I am so excited about the Territory's tourism industry right now. They have absolutely bounced back after two really hard years through COVID. But what is so exciting about it in particular right now is how much people out there want to have Aboriginal tourism experiences. And it is the Northern Territory that is the best place to offer that. So we're going to be really focused on developing more Aboriginal tourism businesses and product out there because that is what the market wants. And we are the best place to deliver it here in the Territory. We've got our Aboriginal tourism strategy in place that's really going to help drive the growth we want to see because quite frankly there just isn't enough product, enough businesses, enough Aboriginal tour guides and operators in the market. So we've got a way to go, we've got funds in place and grants available to help nurture and grow those businesses here in the Northern Territory. There are opportunities not just in the urban centres but out on country too. Our best assets in the Northern Territory is our nature. Uh, when you have a look at the spectacular Uluru and Katajitta, uh, Kakadu National Park, Nipmaluk, uh, Litchfield, just to name a few. They are the experiences that our tourists want. Uh, but also people want to go and get the opportunity to experience Aboriginal culture as well. So there are jobs out there um, that we must grow. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight, it will take time to nurture, but the message I want to send out to kids or to people on country uh, that want to get involved in tourism is that we're here to help, we want to work with you. Uh, there are some great people in the Northern Territory already in this space and there's real potential to grow. The night was hosted by Tony Armstrong, a Gamilaroi man from New South Wales, announcing the 25 awards with over 50 nominees, showcasing a range of exceptional tourism products and experiences around the Territory. I share my culture with the tourists that come from all around the world. The Honourable Nicole Manison presented the Tourism Minister's Perpetual Trophy, known as the Big Bird, which was awarded to Grant Hunt AM. It's been uh, such an amazing journey. Congratulations to all the winners of the NT Tourism Builder Awards, who will represent the Territory at the Australian Tourism Awards in March next year. First Nations TV, your news first. Yeah.